California is back open. It is a day we have been waiting for since the beginning of the pandemic. Thanks for joining us for the nightly check in. I'm Monica Dean. After 15 long months of anxiety, frustrations and upheavals, vaccinated San Diegans are out enjoying the freedom from COVID restrictions and our first day of near normal life in more than a year. With the state's grand reopening, businesses can operate at full capacity. Vaccinated people don't have to socially distance. They also don't need to wear masks, aside from these three settings, which are the exception to that. Public transit, health care, offices, and indoor schools. Lots of people decided to celebrate the changes by going to a theme park or eating out. While some went mask-free, there were quite a few who left the masks on. Pretty, pretty happy with the way things are starting, to, the direction we're all heading into. So awesome, so exciting. Well, I don't know, it's just like the light at the end of the tunnel. Even though I'm vaccinated, I've been feeling great. I'm not been um, sick for a year, for more, more than a year. So I want to protect myself. While there was definitely a sense of relief that San Diego and the state is reopening, Dr. Wilma Wooten reminded us they are still keeping watch on COVID outbreaks and reminded us there is still work to be done to get to a place where COVID cases are manageable. As far as our vaccination progress here in the county, over 1.7 million eligible San Diegans are now fully vaccinated against COVID-19. That's nearly 84% of the county's goal. Over 2.1 million are at least partially vaccinated, over 100% of the goal. In all, the county has administered 3.8 million doses of the vaccine. Governor Gavin Newsom marked California's reopening with a vaccination lottery at Universal Studios in Hollywood. He gave away $15 million to 10 vaccinated Californians, but none of the winners were from here in San Diego County. Three other people have already been chosen to receive $50,000 prizes, including several here in San Diego. Governor Newsom said vaccinations have increased by 13.8% every week since the program started. But even with all our vaccination success, the governor said it's important to be cautious because the virus is still out there. A memorial service was held for Ryan Park and Jamie Huntley Park, the two SDPD officers killed in a head-on crash. The bodies of the detectives were driven from a mortuary in Bonita to Maranatha Chapel in 4S Ranch. But just before they left, there was an all-points radio call to every officer. The dispatcher called out the police code 1042, signaling the detectives' end of tour. Ryan Park and Jamie Huntley Park were killed after a wrong way driver slammed head on into their vehicle on June 4th on Interstate 5 in San Isidro. Southwest Airlines says it is in the process of resuming normal operations after a second day of system issues. Hundreds of flights nationwide, including 10 here in San Diego, were delayed Monday night after problems with the airline's third-party weather information provider. And this morning, the airlines had to fix a problem with its reservation computer system. Southwest did not say exactly how many flights were affected by today's issue. And we are just days away from the official start of summer, but if you are looking to cross some national parks off your bucket list, you should know they are experiencing a big jump in tourism. Popular destinations are now more congested than ever. That includes on trails, in parking lots and campsites. It's definitely more packed than I'm remembering. It's going to be a challenging year for all of our staff. With this level of visitation, we simply can't do it on our own. Each person coming to the Smokies has to take some responsibility for their trash and their behavior so that we can take care of this place that they're coming to enjoy. It was very frustrating. You know, we spent a lot of money and a lot of time trying to get over there. The national parks have seen a 73% increase in campground reservations this year compared to 2019. So you should plan ahead. You should also consider visiting on a weekday or perhaps during the off season. Hot conditions have people around the county trying to beat the heat and thankfully several cooling centers opened up in the East County communities for those that might not have air conditioning like Ramona's Community Library. You can find the full list of cooling stations on the county's website. And before we sign off, here are your current temperatures. Dagmar has an extended forecast, especially how long this heat wave is sticking around over at the weather section located on the main menu of our Roku and Apple TV apps. That's going to do it for our nightly check-in. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night. Take care.